Hi, this is Dawn Mobile Home Erling with SellThisMobileHome.com. I'm coming to you from a, another mobile home that we've owned for a little while. Um, we actually just recently took this one back. Uh, we had originally bought it for $1,000, put about $5,000 into it, and I'll talk a little bit more about what we did with that $5,000 in just a little bit. Um, we had a couple come in, pay $2,000 down, and paid basically $230 a month uh, for basically two years. And... Uh, with that being said, um, within that two-year period of time, uh, they paid down a good portion of, I think we we're almost free and clear with what our initial investment was on the home. Uh, they just recently couldn't afford it and just up and left, so it's an abandoned home. Um, it is a 70s era home. It's not huge. Um, it has two bedrooms, one full bath, um, nice size kitchen, not too bad to 12 wide, so it's it's early 70s based off of that. And what we're going to be turning around doing is either selling it as is, um, most likely, probably uh, with financing for $12,000, 2000 down, 200 a uh, month, or we'll ask for cash, probably about $10,000 cash out. Now, the thing that's nice about this home is that it's a good entry-level home. Um, it's a nice overall starter home, if you will. Um, it's got a nice backyard, except with what they've done with it. <laughs> um, carport, nice long driveway. It's also located in a really nice park in an area not too far away from a military base. So we have a lot of individuals that are kind of a transient uh, nature, doing support staff um, type things, civilian work, as well as also military personnel um, in the area. It's literally just up the street. The other thing that's nice about the home is it has extra large storage. Um, at one point in time, it did have actually an AC hookup. Um, what the situation was with the original homeowner is uh, he actually ended up getting hospitalized for um, some sort of mental illness. And so <laughs> his heir, his, uh, his executor, I guess you could say, or his power of attorney, ended up um, transferring title over to us. The thing that was beneficial about this home is that it actually had already had upgraded windows and some winterization done with it. So it was, uh, it was already closer to uh, being a better finished product for us. Thing is, is when we first got it, those windows were leaking because they weren't installed correctly. Um, this connection point where this uh, awning was connected, um, carport was connected to, the home was leaking too, so we had to fix that. We had some roof leaks in it. Um, also, the other thing is too, is you'll no note that the home basically is flush with the ground. Um, this home's been in my portfolio for a little while. Um, it's a pit set home. And for a lot of reasons, typically with what you're even seeing here, there's some main reasons why I don't like pit set homes. Um, they're harder to fix. A lot of our fixes can be done without disturbing the flooring from underneath um, the home. And if it's a pit set home, obviously you can't do that so easily. And so you normally have to tear up flooring, walls, things like that. So um, we actually also did repaint the outside. So that's been somewhat recently redone. Um, just made it look a little bit fresher, brighter um, than what it was, more modern. Um, the flooring, they actually put their own flooring in. Um, doesn't look like they kept my original stuff. Um, I obviously didn't put this flooring in here. <laughs> um, what we had done originally with the home is we had updated uh, the kitchen. Repainted cabinet faces, redid the tile top with a tile. It was actually a green or a yellow from the 70s. Put a new sink in, put a new faucet in, put new pools on. Um, newer, um, actually that was a stove that was pulled out of an um, uh, a site-built home, um, regular single-family home of ours. We put it in here. Fridge we got with the trailer. Um, put some new lighting in so you can get a feel for what kind of the rehab that we do. Uh, looks like these guys trashed our, our little pantry there a little bit. Um, we did put blinds up throughout the home. Obviously, some of them have fared a little bit better than others. And as you can see, um, clean things up a little bit within the home. Some of the fixtures we didn't necessarily touch. This area was quite readily affected by a lot of leaking. As you can see, obviously, the fixes that we did make um, have been resolved quite readily. Um, that side wall back there originally had the uh, glass uh, mirrors <laughs> on it. Real nice, right? Um, the swamp cooler area normally is the most vulnerable spot on a lot of your mobile homes. Um, as you can see around here, it's not too bad. It's been pretty well maintained. We had sealed that area quite readily. Um, swamp cooler, evaporative cooler are typically used in warm climate areas, sorry, drier climate areas. 
um, desert areas, not necessarily like the East Coast where there's a lot of moisture, it's not going to work as well. We do have a little leak. Um, I'm not sure if that's from the roof itself or draining from here over. That could have an effect. Um, most of the hallway is in pretty decent condition. Our painting isn't looking too, too bad. Um, we do find that a lot of the doors have had holes <laughs> placed on them. Um, this room we didn't end up painting, but it's still in decent shape other than the carpet. The carpet did not fare too well, um, but the window's been sealed. I don't know if you can see it now. Um, new light, those things. Um, we did put up some new paneling. The reason for that is because we did have some uh, water issues in there. And then this back side here was completely taken out and replaced because the tub surround originally had leaked. In fact, this whole hallway area all the way up here and back the other direction, back the other direction, um, was actually torn up because we had some pretty severe leaks. So what we did is we um, fixed the floor joists, effect, the affected area, put in new insulation, put new, um, put new uh, subfloor down, and then put new flooring in. What had happened is, is this area had actually leaked quite a bit. So there was um, some new connection points that were redone there. And it looks like it's faring quite well. Now I'm feeling around in the area and it's just fine. Um, furnace, sorry, fuse box, sprinkler system, outside light. Um, the bathroom we had redone completely. And so that's a, that's a cabinet that I'd actually snagged from Restore. Because <laughs> we had to tear out the original one. Because this whole area was completely gutted. Walls, everything. Um, obviously we've got a leak in the roof there that would need to be fixed um, and resolved. But this cabinet here only cost me $30. Um, a custom cabinet would have been close to $1,000 that fit this spot. And it's fared quite well. It's got a new faucet on it. Um, we actually did do a tile surround. Um, it kept the cost down and actually, actually it's been well preserved. Um, tub, this porcelain tub, they repainted it. Put a new front on it. The toilet is newer. It was a new newer toilet. Now we put tile floors. Normally I don't like tile floors, actual tile floors in homes like this. I believe these are peel and stick. These are peel and stick. So um, we don't have to worry about real tile. Um, with the flexing, it's going to move a lot better with the settling and movement of the home. The home has actually moved a little bit from where I remember. Um, this is actually the color of the flooring that we originally had, and obviously they didn't clean too well. Look at that. Look at a big difference. That's what the carpet originally looked like. <laughs> um, but the master suite's pretty decent sized room. Um, originally what there was on this back wall, on the other side of this wall, was some sort of kitty cat room, smoke room. I don't know what the heck it was. So that's why there's a difference in color of the paneling in that area. Um, as well, and then we put new lighting in. So this home actually had had quite a bit of work done to it. It's actually preserved quite well. They have got some debris, but it's not that bad, um, considering what we've had, I've seen in the past. <laughs> um, we did have a furnace issue at one point in time when I originally owned the home. I haven't had a chance because the gas isn't hooked up to check that out, but that would be the major mechanical systems um, would be the key things for us to, to check to make sure before we end up selling the home again. So what we're obviously going to do is trash this home out. The thing is, though, is because they abandoned the home, um, we have to give them 30 days to be able to come back and pick up their stuff if they choose not to do so after the 30 days, and we can go ahead and get rid of it. So I'm pretty close to my time frame where I can go ahead and get rid of their stuff. So at that point in time, it'll be trashed out and moved. Um, other areas, it's going to be a shorter period of time, or it might even be a longer period of time. So this is Dawn with um, SellThisMobileHome.com, just helping you guys understand a little bit more about what we do, how we do it, and why it ends up being beneficial. Uh, in our marketplace and why you might consider doing it too. Um, we, uh, we're we looking to sell this for $12,000. Um, we'll probably take $2,000 down, $200 a month, and if somebody comes in with cash, we'll sell it for uh, $10,000. And most of my in initial investments have been back, so you know you too could end up being able to make money uh, flipping these too. If you want to learn more about how to get started mobile home investing, please join me at sellthismobilehome.com forward slash premium. So sell this mobile home dot com forward slash premium p r e m i u m and uh, we have I have a course that I put together there basically.
basically you get to look over my shoulder as to how I do the business, um, how I do this. I've been doing this business for over 10 years here and in real, regular real estate for over 20 years. So look forward to being able to have an opportunity to hopefully uh, teach you guys um, a little bit more about the business and help you get started with a small amount of capital and start having cash flow coming in like we do. Thank you and have a good day.